is that lecturer in JP will give you the videos that you're going to start the uh, the data is going to be given to the experiments uh, given to the students sorry then the student need to analyze the data using fluid mechanics software the software is your choice whether you want to use Excel okay whether you want to use MATLAB okay whether you want to use ANSYS Fluent that's okay whether you're good at SOLIDWORKS that is also okay the more higher the simulation the more uh, uh, good is the data perhaps and then the more marks you are going to get so Excel also is basic you can get marks for that also but the more efforts you do we are going to see how much effort the student did how much effort the group has done that's it we can immediately see i see a report and i know already how much effort is it copy paste or a lot of effort has been done okay so it all depends on the efforts uh, submission will be in kalam okay so if you guys can open your kalam then all the five experiments have been listed down and in those five experiments you guys have to submit the long report and video report that i will show you later okay submission is in kalam uh, only one submission needed per group so one group one submission okay every submission full report and presentation so this time what is going to happen is that you are going to uh, submit one report and one uh, what you call video for all experiments for each experiment sorry so we have got five experiments <coughs> and in those five experiments you have to write five long reports there is no concept of short report this year okay and each report need to have video also just a second okay so we have one two three four five okay we have long report uh, two three four five and then we have video presentation one two three four five and video presentation has to be 10 minutes 10 minutes okay you guys are very creative i know all the students and young generation is very creative so the more creative you are with the video, some students use very different types of softwares also. The more creative, more better. Uh, all students have to participate in the video, not just one student. So all students have to participate in the 10 minutes video. Okay. So 10 minutes video and long report. Okay. So these are what you have to do for the five experiments that we have. And you have to submit uh, the video. I think for me it is Wednesday. So full report submission week four. So Wednesday. So we are going to conduct the experiments on uh, Thursday. Okay, I will give you the video on Thursday, perhaps, and uh, you guys have to submit to me uh, on Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. So full report and presentation should be submitted prior to doing new experiment. So for me, it's Wednesday. okay so for me for group number i don't know which group number is this four or three uh, the submission submission is wednesday and the last time on wednesday is two three five nine hours okay so the date should not exceed wednesday okay so uh, starting week number four 
uh, we are going to start giving you the videos okay the videos and the experimental data so let's say i'm going to give you the video next week in this lab okay so this lab is going to be conducted next week on thursday so i will give you the video and uh, data on thursday then you have to submit uh, the report week four week five wednesday at night okay before that now what is the assessment this year so this year the assessment has changed also okay so we have three things now okay number one is using softwares such as excel matlab uh, solidworks ensis to analyze the data okay so you have to analyze the data and put that analysis in the lab report so number one is how strong your data analysis is okay how strong your data analysis is data analysis okay and that data analysis you have to put in report and presentation both so report and presentation that's 20 percent marks okay we have five experiments okay so each report has four percent of data analysis okay so we have got four percent of data analysis for each report so we have got five reports so four five are 20 so 20 percent of the overall lab marks are data analysis then number two we have assignment or which is called long report that you are going to submit to me on wednesday two three five nine hours so long assignment that long assignment report has a specific format that format i'm going to tell you and that is 50 percent of the course marks so 50 percent of the marks are for assignment and then the videos that you're going to produce okay you guys can make videos and upload on youtube and then send or submit the link on kalam you guys can make videos upload on google drive and then submit on Kalam. You guys can make videos and upload on Dropbox and then submit on Kalam. It's all up to you, okay? So number three is presentation video. What is this video presentation about? This presentation is about the assignment or the report that you're going to create, okay? So that's 30%. So 30, 50, 20 is 100% marks okay so the group previously uh, in the excel sheet i told you guys to make the group yourself right but this is wrong actually the coordinator has informed me that uh, because of uh, 200 number of students which we have for this lab we have to conduct uh, in series groups okay series groups means that or the first five students are automatically chosen in group one and the first, then the remaining five are chosen automatically in group two so maybe i can share this group grouping in the whatsapp also okay so dmm3521 i have shared the grouping already okay i'm not sure if maybe the student list changes again because last time i checked the student list was 28 Today I checked the student list is 29. So I don't know what's going on. If the student list changed, maybe something might change, but I hope this is the group number. So by the time we post the video, by the day when we post the video and give you the data, the group should have been finalized, hopefully. If nobody enters the uh, register manually, then I hope it is finalized, okay? So this is the group allocation, the new group allocation. Okay. 
so how the experiments are going to be distributed okay so we have uh, this uh, week number 4 to 5 6 to 7 8 to 9 10 to 11 12 to 13 five experiments one two three four five okay experiment number one is bernoulli flow over immersed bodies experiment number two fluid flow friction experiment number three pumping is experiment number four and turbo machinery is experiment number five okay so group one is going to do experiment number one on week four five group six is going to do experiment number three in week eight nine so i'm going to share this with you also Okay, so this our group is in group number four. Okay, <clears throat> the report should be in UMB thesis format. If you want UMB thesis format, let me know. I will share also. Uh, you need to use software to plot the graph. So please don't plot the graph manually. Okay, like freehand. <laughs> freehand cannot put the graph. Cannot plot the graph. Okay, so should uh, use Excel sheet or some kind of software. So. I have never used tech plot. Maybe you can try tech plot also. And I, I can recommend one software origin. Origin is a software which makes crispy graphs. Crispy. Okay. If you want crispy graph, the best graphs, you know, we publish in very good journals and we make crispy graphs with origin software. So you can download this origin software uh, somehow also if available obviously okay so these were the topics and the distribution so lab report format so as you guys know that 50 percent of your course marks depends on lab reports so obviously lab report should be very strong that lab assignment or lab report both are the same thing should be very very strong what are the contents that a lab report should have the first thing is introduction Okay, so uh, the first thing is the title. Okay, so based on the UMP thesis format, title first, acknowledgement first, uh, table of content. Okay, what are the contents of this report? Then the introduction. In the introduction, there are four things background, problem statement, objectives, and scope. So let's say I'm telling you that uh, uh, for the pump uh, experiments, okay, there is a series and parallel okay, uh, operations going on. So what is the background? In the background, you are going to say that for uh, operation of machinery and for the transportation of fluid, uh, we need single arrangement of a series pump or a parallel pump for smooth operation uh, for uh, cities, etc. So you are going to basically create a story, a one page story of introduction, at least one page. OK, then we move on the problem state. So what is the problem? The problem is that it is important for us to give specific flow rate to uh, homes. Maybe in one home the flow rate is very high and in one home the flow rate is even very low, then this is not good. And we should also maintain the pressure as well. So which operation, series operation or parallel operation are good for uh, smooth operation of pumps uh, for cities and for very high capacity buildings, then that is what our uh, problem is. So the problem is that we need to maintain continuous flow. So this is how you have to evaluate and you have to uh you have to define the problem very clearly okay let's say you are going to define problem about flow over immersed bodies then you are going to say that okay let's say we have got an example of an airplane so the airplane the air is basically the uh, medium over which the air flows over the uh, airplane so that induces uh, friction and coefficient of friction and coefficient of drag occurs so these are the things uh, which create uh, difficulty for the airline to climb, okay, for the airplane to climb. So these are the problems that you have to state. After the problem, how are you going to solve the problem? Uh, what are the objectives by which you will be able to solve the problem? This is what you're going to write in objective. Objective is only two lines only, okay? So I'm going to give you a brief uh, overview. Number one is introduction. So title, acknowledgement, Okay, page one, title, page two, acknowledgement. Okay, page number three is uh, table of content. Okay, this is page number three. Page number four is introduction chapter, chapter number one. 
okay and in chapter number one so you have got let's say 1.1 introduction at least at least at least 1 to 1.5 pages this should be 1 to 1.5 pages <clears throat> Okay. It means at least three to four paragraphs. Three to four paragraph. <coughs> With references. With references. So let's say this is your introduction. So this is paragraph number one. This is paragraph number two. This is paragraph number three. Okay. But what is important is that you should write everything yourself. So there should be no similarity. And you should have references inside also. So you need to write references here in the form of numbers. This is reference in square bracket. So this is square bracket and number format. Square bracket. Okay, numbered format, numbered, okay, so reference number two, reference number two is here, then reference number three is here, okay, like this, if you, if you do three paragraph, okay, and at the end put reference, this is incorrect, okay. What about the first two paragraphs? Where did you write this from? Where they come from? Okay. So it is important to write full number of references, correct references at the correct place. Reference is the most important thing that I will check in the report or other teachers will evaluate. Correct reference at the correct place. Okay. So this is introduction, three paragraphs. After the introduction, in the introduction first paragraph you are going to give an introduction to let's say the pumps what are the pumps what are the different types of pumps available what is the function of pump okay then in the here you are going to say okay what are the operations in which pump operate what is the benefit of series pump what is the benefit of parallel pump okay then in the third paragraph you are going to say uh, what are the general uh, things which are uh, general problems uh, with which can be uh, carried out or something happens okay but after the introduction, you have to specifically mention the problem in the problem statement. So this is 1.2. 1.2 is problem statement. Specifically mention what is the problem. At least one paragraph, five to six lines or seven lines. Okay. At least one paragraph, one large paragraph. Okay, that what are the problems and uh, what is the basic main problem and perhaps, uh, yeah, that's it. Then, in order to overcome the problem, how, what are the objectives that you're going to take, okay? So, 1.3 objectives. Or what is the objective of the experiment, okay? What is the problem in the experiment and what is the objective of this experiment, perhaps? Objectives usually are one line, so in terms of bullets. So you have bullet in numbering one and two. Okay, maybe, oh sorry, maybe it could be three also. And then the scope. Scope is sometimes very confusing, basically. <clears throat> How do I define scope? Let's say you, you are working in uh, Tekan City. Okay. So this is 
Pekan City. Okay. But you are working in UMP. So you are working in UMP. But you are not working in UMP, you are working in Fluid Mechanics Lab. So you are working in Fluid Mechanics Lab. So the scope is basically the boundary in which you are going to work. So because you are, you are in UMP and you are studying 40 subjects, so your scope for 40 subjects is within UMP. But your scope of Fluid Mechanics Lab is or fluid mechanics work is only in fluid mechanics lab. So for your whole degree, your scope is UMP. Okay, and for your fluid mechanics subject only, uh, this lab, the scope is fluid mechanics lab only. Okay. So the scope defines basically uh, what are the constraints and what are the restrictions under which you are going to work and you will not exceed those uh, scopes and those restrictions. Okay. So for example, I'm going to tell you that you have to do experiment on pump. So may, maybe the scope of the pump is that uh, in this uh, work or in this experiment, we are going to work with only series and parallel pumps, which are closed housing pumps and uh, they are impeller based. Okay, so you're going to specify okay, that this, these are the conditions in which you're going to work on. And we are going to be working under normal operating temperature and pressure. So these are the conditions in which you are going to work. So this is your scope, okay? So this is all about chapter number one. So this is uh, pages, in terms of pages, this is page number one. Okay. Then objective and problem statement and scope in page number two. So page number two. Scope is paragraph by based. Okay, so you have to write a paragraph. Okay, so in in terms of ch chapter number one, chapter number one is two to two point five pages. <clears throat> I hope you guys can understand. Okay that I want to basically uh, clear the report and how the report is uh, written correctly. Okay, I want to let you guys know already how you should be writing the report. Because many students make many, many mistakes uh, when it comes to report writing and people don't take it very seriously. Okay, But the thing is that because report is 50% of the marks, so uh, that is why I am emphasizing on report. Okay. And I want you guys to understand what are the contents in the report and what should be written in the report. Okay. So now that the ch introduction chapter has completed, uh, which is about 2 to 2.5 pages, let us move on to chapter number 2, which is literature review or theory. Okay. So chapter number 2 is theory. So in chapter number through two theory, you can also give subheadings like what is pump? Okay. What is the fluid mechanics definition of pump? What are the applications of pump? With figures also, pictures. Okay. Then maybe you can uh, write about the operations of pump. Then you can write the theory and formulas. What is series and what is parallel pump? What is pump uh, characteristics curve? Okay, for series, what is it for parallel? You can make graphs and show figures, something like that. So this is how you're going to cover the theory. And remember one thing, whenever you are going to write a figure, sorry, you are going to put the figure, this is a figure, okay? 
this is let's say assume this is a figure put correct figure number okay number one thing put figure labeling number two thing and in the figure label put the correct reference okay so what is figure label figure label is here figure figure number one okay what this figure is about this figure is series pump operation of centrifugal pump but where did you copy this figure from what is the origin of this figure for that you need to put reference here reference like i said numbered so maybe figure third reference if you have four figures in one figure let's say you have figure here together you've got three figures okay and you want to give single label so figure two then you should mark this a you have to write and mark here A, B, C. And then separately line, write figure 2A is uh, flow meter, figure 2B is uh, orifice, and C is uh, Pitot's detective. Okay, so this is how you should label the figure and then give the references all here. Here the reference, the reference for this figure and reference for this figure. For reference, you can use two softwares or three softwares. EndNote, I think UMP maybe has or maybe don't have, but Mendeley is free. This software, Mendeley, M-E-N-D-E. Ly Mendeley software is free. Okay. <clears throat> so this software is free to use. Okay. After the theory, we go to procedure. Okay. So method and procedure, uh, we are going to give you the video from that video, you can capture the images and what the JP is going to tell you, you should write that in a procedure way. Okay. So maybe I'm not sure each experiment has its own procedure. So if the procedure is long, maybe three to four pages. If the procedure is short, then maybe one to two pages. It depends on the experiment. Okay. Next, we move on to result and discussion. So the result in discussion is based on the data that we are going to give you and based on the initial uh, report that we have given you. So you have to see the table, okay? And you have to make that table uh, for your report, copy that table with the data, then do the analysis, which has been given in the short, uh, in the report that we, are going, we have already shared you on WhatsApp, okay? So based on that, make graphs, make analysis, do calculations, show everything clearly, Use equation, word style equation uh, to write equations, okay. You have to use word equations to write equations, okay. Uh, show calculation clearly, make clear and crispy graphs, okay. Something like that. And then this, it depends how long the experiment is. Maybe the result is maybe 8 pages or maybe 10 pages long. It depends okay and then number eight is conclusion conclusion can be one paragraph and then number nine is uh, references okay hopefully at least you should go for eight to fifteen references eight to fifteen or even more references at least in your report 
so this is all about uh, writing the report guys that is why it is a group work please don't put one report responsibility on one poor student okay so distribute the responsibility uh, let's say one student uh, you guys do together on google meet make a group make a google meet group and do and conduct the report uh, together okay so don't put it on one student <clears throat> next uh, i am going to tell you about video so the video presentation is 30% of your course mark it must include your group member names introduction state your name your id okay and where you are from i don't know why is this mark must include all necessary information in your report so you should define all the chapters and all the results which we have already discussed in your video presentation <clears throat> uh the marking is based on the creativity of the presentation so i know some of you can make very nice uh, presentation so that's very good you guys are using different types of padlet software or something or some kind of uh, phone based applications so creating very nice videos i think you guys create better videos than lecturers actually to be honest you guys are more creative okay so i want you to see your creativity in making fluid mechanics videos also and uh, you must include an introduction ump intro and ump outro logo so basically there is a 3 second or 2 seconds ump intro and ump outro video that you should attach with your video presentation if you guys have it then very good if you guys don't have have it let me know i will share it okay i have the ump video intro and outro that you should attach with your video presentation uh, with visual effect will receive more marks so obviously this is what coordinator has instructed to all of us so this is the presentation marks now we move on to the software the usage of software okay so all the long report should include the use of software such as matlab tatplot excel and other plots to visualize your results uh, i think uh, origin is a good software so you can try that one as well additional software for visualization such as flow works in solid works and flow simulation in ansys or other fluid mechanics software will receive more marks so if you guys know these kind of softwares uh, it's very good if you guys don't know about these softwares just youtube and Uh, hopefully youtube can guide you better than some of us okay so this is one uh, software ansys which i wanted to tell you guys it is free freely available for students okay so ansys for students is a separate package you can download it okay free student software download is available and you can use it for doing the analysis as well okay <clears throat> if you want i can share the link also i think i have the link Oops. No, I don't have the link. I will share the link as well. Okay. Now that you have written the report, and you have written the report, and you have submitted it online, you have written the video, and you have submitted it online. Then what is going to happen? Then we are going to start the checking process. How are we going to start the checking process? Have a look here. So. Uh, okay so if you see here we have got introduction literature review methodology result and discussion and conclusion so if you, your introduction is incomplete okay uh, there is no explanation then you will get maybe 0 to 40 marks if your introduction is concise problem statement is well defined okay uh, it has relevant explanation and the objectives are clearly stated you will get 100% marks okay similarly literature review uh, i cannot understand the literature review sometimes you are talking about the pump then sometimes you are talking about the flow meter so if the information is jumbled you know copy from one place then copy for another place so it is no flow so then there's a problem so the literature review should be clearly matched with the different variety of sources what is different variety of sources
means that you have got variety of references. What does variety of references means? The variety of references means, oh, sorry. Uh, thank you. Okay. What is variety of references and what is variety of sources? It means that you should have websites. You should have book references. You should have video references. You can have journal references. You can have thesis references. This is called variety of sources. Source of information is variety. Okay. So this is what we are going to, going to see in your literature review. Then methodology, you should explain well based on what the JP is saying. Okay. Result and discussion should have comprehensive result presentation, informative tables and figures. So the figures and tables should be informative. Uh, critical view and reasoning should be given. A lot of calculation should be done as well. <clears throat> conclusion is uh, clear and well defined. So this is the mass for conclusion. So you can see uh, there is there is this is an example. So one student they got maybe medium rubric or medium marks in this methodology was very good. Maybe he took pictures or something. Then uh, the result and discussion were also good. And the conclusion was okay. So they got 75 marks out of 100. It means out of four, they got three marks. So this is the, uh, so I want to share some examples of some, you know, problems and mistakes of students. Okay. So mistake number one. Okay, here you can see if there is an, it's okay, you can write with handwriting if, some, if something cannot be drawn or something, it's okay, but at least it should be clear. It's not clear, this thing. I cannot read what's written here, okay? So whatever you put in the report should be clear and clearly visible to the lecturer. Then you can see here, this data is redundant, okay? The scale of the graph is also looks like somebody compressed it. Okay, you should open it. Okay, and the data is incorrect. Okay, this is a very nice figure graph, so it's okay. Everything is okay, no problem. Okay. So here you can see uh, examples of a bad report. You see this page, and you see there are only two references. One is the book, the Senzel book that you have been following since Fluid Mechanics two. And the second is the pump Wikipedia. Okay, you can give reference of Wikipedia, no problem. But in this long report, 20 pages of report, only two references. Okay, so references zero marks for this report, nothing. And also you see here, there is no references stated in the report. Okay, so although this is not the page where we put reference, but in the report, there was no references. Then there is no numbering here. You can see there is no numbering. References is in bullet form. So how will I know that this reference is from uh, which paragraph you take from Sanjay and which paragraph you take from Pump? So you should put number two, two reference from that, three reference from this paragraph. Okay. And then the use of software. So you, they did not use any software. So you can see that uh, the reference is not formatted correctly. Okay. So these are the problems of references. Uh, doctor. Yeah, yeah. Can I know? Uh, uh, we cannot use Mendeley for reference. Can, can, can. 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 Uh, can. Recommended to use Mendeley actually. Uh -huh. All right. Thank you. Okay. So uh, number three problem is unit is missing. Okay. Here you can see the uh, unit is present, but meter. Uh, cube per second. So the cube is not cube, it's three. 
okay so you should <laughs> i think uh, these are small mistakes so kilo pascal k is small okay so power watt should be capital this is correct okay efficiency percentage is correct but the unit should be very very important the last answer also the end of the calculation the unit should be properly mentioned yeah this is the uh, last problem so you can see that first the figures are not formatted correctly okay so you see the first two are very large and the bottom two are very small okay so that this should not be the case all the figures should be if arranged properly so in the powerpoint or in the word there is an option align so you select two figures and then you choose this or that option align uh, central line so it will align central line then align middle it will align middle it will distribute uh, the spacing also so use that feature in microsoft word align feature to distribute them properly okay and make the size also correctly uh, equal for all figures okay then the second problem is there is no label for the last two figures if you see the last two figures no label okay then uh, there is no a b c d also it should be one label and one label should have a b c d like this like i showed you okay so this is a figure problem and then when you are uh, putting the equipment and material at least write little bit of description water tank okay, obviously i know what is water tank but at least just write one line water tank is used for a reservoir for fluids based on uh, the experiment that we need to do okay so write something uh, okay <laughs> another problem here you can see uh, for the efficiency in figure number 2 uh, when the flow rate is zero you can see the efficiency is <laughs> Uh, 225. Okay, so how is it possible? Okay, so, incorrect calculation and incorrect result. Okay, I mean the data. Maybe this is correct, but the data is not confirming. Okay, so you should know. You should make sure that uh, the data confirms. so basically it's not making a clear line also so when you talk about i think when you talk about uh, pump efficiency i don't know whether it this is okay or not okay this so uh, these were some of the guidelines for your uh, uh, report presentation okay and uh, use of softwares uh, and